Hey guys, it's Mike here, author of The Messy Way, your practical no BS guide to nailing your day. And I'm making a special video only for the advanced release reviewers of this book. So there's a special ver but very limited 100 people that have received this book and no one else has got this other than you guys. So I thought, you know what, first of all, I'm so thankful that you're reading it. It's still a baby. It's still uh, um, almost ready to be released to the world. You're the first people to read it. I greatly appreciate it and I thought I wanted to add some special value because you're doing something very special for me I want to do something very special for you and what I wanted to do was I want to explain to you in a video that I recorded recently that I want to share with you after this uh, explaining exactly what the messy what does M-E-S-S-I stand for so in the video I break down and I explain what it means the five components of the messy way um, but the most important takeaway for you and the reason why you should read the book is not to understand the messy way but it's to ask the question how can I apply the messy way in my life how can I make this work for me that for me is what's most important to me how you can apply this in your life how you can achieve amazing results in your life by applying the messy way not just understanding it in your head so once again thank you for being an advanced release reviewer it gives me so much joy I'm making this just for you please don't share this this video is just for you and I'm gonna ask you to watch this next piece that explains the messy way in detail right guys Mike Grogan here I am going to explain the messy way which is the heart of the book I just wrote so a question I get always asked what's this got to do with the soccer player with the football player with you know the messy so it's <laughs> very little to do with him but in a lot of ways it in, is inspired by his name so the messy way is an acronym um, M-E-S-S-I stands for something so this is the heart of the book and it's the heart of what I call um, how to significantly increase the odds of you becoming successful with a change that you want to make in your life or a goal you want to achieve so there's five elements I'm going to go through each one very briefly the first M um, stands for meaningful so M E uh, meaningful so what I mean by this is the change you want to make has to have some significance purpose to you you need to see that that behavioral change that you're looking for whether it be in your health relationships learning new skill how that's going to help you reach more meaningful long-term goals so I do a lot of work with teams on this I am, and a lot of the team building exercise I do and the biggest realizations that I see uh, participants in my workshops receiving is deeply understanding the, the purpose, the why. Um, there's many different exercises to do this, um, the pain and pleasure exercise that I do, get people to reflect on if you fail, what's the consequences, to get people to reflect on the vision, the future, what they want others to remember them by. So there's many different ways to do this, but by far it is so important to have this clarity on why you want to make this particular change. The next part of the messy way is ease. And what I mean by that is how to make it easier for you to be successful with making this change and how to make it more difficult for you to fail. So easier, e oh, my bad. should know how to spell easy by this stage easier so this entails intelligent design looking at your environment looking at triggers in your environments that allow you to make this change less difficult and more easy as simple as that sounds a lot of people actually forget to uh, go into that aspect the next part of the messy way is social so social circles full title and this is as true as our mothers have told us this when we were young the importance of having the right support network which includes the importance of excluding the wrong people from your social circles so there's been so much research on this area alone and by far for a lot of people the biggest factor of determination and factor of their success with with making positive change in their life is the people they spend most of their time with so it's intentionally looking at who are the people in my life and are they adding value or are they uh, taking me off this path of change 
The second S is setback ready. So this is something that I've struggled with in the past and I'm, I wish I knew this sooner. And it's the concept of it's okay to fall. It's not actually, it's expected and normal to fall. And even to push it further, and I reflect on myself, I can't think of any uh, change that I've initiated in my life where there was times where I fell, where there's times where I messed up. Um, and this, what this aspect is to both psychologically prepare your mindset and prepare your plan B for those moments where you do fall. So you must expect um, failure en route on your journey, but no, that doesn't mean overall failure of the mission. So this is getting the right aspects in place so you can think ahead of how you're going to manage failure when failure happens. And the last part of the messy way is incentives. Incentives. Now, what I mean by this, it's not money. People jump to thinking that money is the only incentive in the world. That's not true. Money is just one of thousands of incentives that you can use. But incentives for yourself, for others, for success. And they could be incentives that you give yourself on a daily basis, tiny little things like a, a cup of coffee in the afternoon or a cookie or watching a movie later in the day to reward yourself for your own good behavior. Um, or the opposite, punishments. And to punish yourself, to um, withhold certain treats, rewards, um, relaxation time for you because you didn't keep your promises to yourself. So these rewards and punishments can be both daily and uh, long term. Something like within the month or the next two or three months that there's a big reward waiting for you if, you if you're able to cross that line. And at the same time, using punishments, there's a big punishment waiting for you, especially when you involve other people. Extremely powerful. Um, tool this can be in terms of helping people change their behavior. So there you go guys. It's a very uh, short description of the messy way. In the book of course I'll go in more detail about this but by far if you have one big takeaway from this, number one there is a science to behavioral change. I didn't invent this. This is all based on my personal experience and the hundreds of thousands of data that's out there. Uh, re phenomenal research done on the topic of personal change. You do not have to be like the 95% of people that suck at achieving their goals. And that's unfortunately our reality in the world. 95% of people are terrible at when it comes to personal change, when it comes to making those changes that they want. I want you to be different. I want you to use this method and you will see a significant increase in your chances of success using a method like this. So in the book, of course, it goes into more detail about how to use this and gives three great examples of three folks that have used it successfully including and um, their struggles with it so the key thing here is not just knowing it but as my teacher said the key thing is applying what you learned knowledge is not power knowledge is only a plot is only potential power it is applied knowledge that is power so i really hope that, that you got value from this and i'm excited to make more videos especially for you to uh, help you in, in your journey of making positive change both in yourself and for those that you love. God bless and I'll see you next time. Thank you.